Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you are here and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Christy and I post lifestyle content here on my YouTube channel. And for this video, I'm going to be sharing how I transformed my master bedroom. Now, we are a military family, so the houses, we do live on an on-base military installation. Um, so we cannot do a lot of things to the houses, and we move every three years. So I really didn't want to put a lot of effort and time into this space. So I knew I was just going to paint. Paint is like magic. It really changes up spaces. It changes up furniture. I just love paint. Paint is awesome. So I knew I wanted to paint a wall in this bedroom. And that's what we did. We decided to go for a feature wall. And I'm so excited we did. Now I'm gonna walk you through the transformation of this room. I'm gonna kind of explain all of the thoughts I was going through and just how I put it all together. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already clicked that red subscribe button, we would love to have you join the Hasfan family. All right guys, let's get started with this video. Like I mentioned before, we do currently live on a military base installation and we can't do much to the houses. So I decided the best way to make a big impact was to paint a feature wall. I wanted to have a hotel feel in my room, so I decided to go with a dark wall. Before we start painting, we're gonna move everything out of the room, we're gonna prep the wall, we're gonna put tape and get this room ready for paint. This color is called Naval by Sherwin Williams. This color is such a rich but relaxing color. It definitely made a big impact in the room and it really gave the room the hotel luxury feel we were going for. It is a dark navy color, but it's more, I feel more modern than just blue. And it's just perfect. It really gives that cozy feel to the room and it just makes it that hotel vibe that I really wanted for this room.
Now that the paint has dried, let's put the room together. A lot of the items that I'm going to be using in this room are thrifted and I will share with you guys where I got them from. It was either Facebook Marketplace or uh, Goodwill and some of the items I did purchase so I will let you guys know exactly where everything came from. Our bed is a king size bed and it fit the room really well. I bought the headboard through Facebook Marketplace. I thrifted it through Facebook Marketplace and it was $75 that I paid for it. And I just, it's one of my favorite finds that I've found on Facebook Marketplace and I love it. Now, if you guys remember, the bedside tables to this room were super small. They were actually my living room uh, tables that I used to use on the side of my couch. And I just brought them up here to give us a space to put our books or our water or our glasses, you know, just to have something in the room. But I am so glad to get rid of them. And in return, what I did was I knew I needed something bigger. And the only thing I could think of were like the three dresser drawers and I went on Facebook Marketplace and I couldn't find matching ones, which drove me crazy. So what I decided to do was find two that were kind of similar in size and then just paint them and uh, make them look cohesive, look the same, look like a pair. And I have a video all about it. I shared it about a week ago, so I will have it linked in my description down below. I show you exactly what paint I used, how I stained the front of the drawers and the knobs and all that. I love this transformation. It was one of my favorite furniture transformations and it gave me the hardest time and I share that in the video of where I transformed them. But they fit the space perfectly. They fit the style that I was going for. I love these bedside tables, even though they're not really bedside tables, but they're perfect. I love the drawer. It gives us more storage space for all of our stuff that we have. And I, I just can't say enough about them. They worked with the space so well. And it's actually one of my favorite pieces in this room. For the bedding, I wanted a crisp white. I love white bedding because it's easy to wash and it has so much versatility. You can really switch it up by just adding different throw blankets and pillows. The bedding and the big white pillows are from Ikea. The yellow pillow covers are from Ikea as well. And the home sweet home pillow is from Kirkland's. I always feel like a room is not complete without curtains framing the windows. I really feel like it adds that touch to the room that just brings it together. And I love adding curtains to any room. And what I like to do is to really put them above the window. I, If I can take it all the way up, I usually do. And I love the curtains to hit the floor or maybe to drag a little. These curtains, I bought them from Ikea. Ikea has so many home decor items for such a great price and I do have to drive to my, my Ikea is about an hour away but it's or it's actually three hours away and but it's worth it every time I go there I find things that um, are unique but are not super expensive so that's where the curtains came from and also the bedding now it's time to find something to put above the bed I am going to give you a few options this is the part that I struggled with the most it was, I wanted something to pop and I wanted something big enough to fill the wall, but I didn't want it to look like not part of the style. And it was hard for me to find something that I really, really liked, but I'm gonna show you three options and then I'm gonna show you the one that I ended up going with. The first option was this big bless sign. I have, this sign actually lives in the entryway, but I wanted just to put, pop it up there and see if it would work. And it would definitely work, but I wanted something else. I just, it just didn't click with me. Then I thought I would put a ladder at the top of the bed and I found this ladder at Hobby Lobby and I put a, a wreath in between it, like in the middle of it, but the ladder was too small and there was too much empty space, like the holes of the ladder, it just didn't work with me. It, it wasn't contrasting enough, it kind of blended into the wall and I wanted something more pop that would pop. So I 
did not like that one. So for the third one, I remembered that I had some shutters that I thrifted a while back just sitting in my closet and I decided that I would paint them. They were a brown color and I decided to paint them white so that they would really pop um, against the blue wall and then I distressed them and I put them up on the wall and I still use that green wreath because I really liked the wreath. I wanted to incorporate the wreath somehow. I thought it really added texture and contrast to the room. So I put it in between the shutters and I just fell in love. I thought this is perfect. I really like it. Um, later on, I might do something different, maybe put pictures. I do have some pictures of me and Benji that I would love to incorporate into the room. I didn't add any photos, but I will find a spot for them soon I need to find a good frames frames are just so expensive and I usually goodwill them but I haven't had a chance to just go to goodwill but I think I will be adding a picture up there but for now I really like the shutters and the wreath I also brought in a blanket ladder to cozy up the space the blanket ladder was a DIY and I will make a video tutorial soon I added that cream knitted blanket on the blanket ladder and some beads just for texture and I think it just looked really nice in the room. Next I put a bench at the foot of the bed. The bench was found at TJ Maxx. They had so many options but I really like the cream color of this bench and it also has storage so if you open it up you can put blankets and pillows into it which is awesome and I also added a throw blanket on the bed it is a gray fluffy cozy blanket I really love this blanket I actually won it on a white elephant game uh, during Christmas time people were fighting for this blanket there was like another one but I really like the gray neutral of the blanket so I fought for that blanket in the white elephant game and I won it I was so excited so I'm so excited to have it to incorporate it in this master bedroom I believe the blanket was purchased from Sam's Club I remember they were saying someone said it during the party but um, you can find cozy soft blankets really anywhere Walmart TJ Maxx home goods Target there I'm sure you can find a cozy blanket but I love the texture and the color of this blanket I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were inspired and motivated to change up and transform a space in your home. A little paint goes a long way. It really transformed this room and it just is perfect for us and I can't say enough about this room. I love waking up in this room. I love coming home to this room. It really is an oasis for us and I'm so glad that it we finally got it done. It took us 12 years, but we have a room and it's put together and it's just so beautiful. But let me know in the comments down below what you loved about this room, what would you change about this room. I'm always curious to hear all of your guys' design tips, so let me know in the comments down below and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right guys, bye.